Wow, it's uh, been quite a while since I uh, did this. I've been meaning to make the, a updated computer maintenance video for quite a while now. Um, about two weeks ago, I tried to do it again, but I was using Cam Studio and it didn't like uh, any videos that were over like two seconds long. So I get an error at, at the end of like all my recordings. So I finally got Camtasia Studio again, and uh, it's looking good. So um, yeah, I'm about to make this uh, long. It's been like two, three years since the last time I made a, uh, one of these videos explaining how to you know clean up your hard drive and uh, keep your computer running at uh, full speed. Don't want that old computer syndrome as people who don't care or don't know how to do this have and then they just get rid of their computer it's ridiculous um but <clears throat> okay here we go um first thing best most important thing is c cleaner you can get it from pureform.com or file hippo or whatever just google it c cleaner um and it just does everything cleans uh everything that you needed to pretty much uh, and then here's all the, like the things you can check some of this stuff oh, I should check that um, some of this stuff you don't want to check because that's I mean every once in a while you can but I don't um, some of the, so just look at here and this is pretty much what I do normally um, then you analyze and run it and then it cleans out you know um, usually more than this if you use it like once a week It'll clean out like a gig or so or more than that, depending on how much you use your computer and what you use and whatnot. And then there's this too that's over here, more settings. Um, this also has a registry a registry uh, cleaner, but the one in this doesn't work as well as one that I'll get to later. Um, actually, I'll talk about that next. Um, and also has this kind of like an add and remove programs that you can do in your control panel. I use this because it's quicker and it works. Um, but that's C cleaner, most important thing of all. Second is Oslogic's uh, registry defrag. This is what you want to use for your registry. Um, you just go here, scan and repair, and it will find double. Okay, it's not really finding that much. Okay, nine. It'll usually find like double. It'll find everything. I mean, C Cleaner doesn't really do its job to the fullest. This does. Um, it found ten problems, which is not bad. I usually have over a hundred, um, so that's good. Um, next, we have um, well another Oslogix program, this defrag, which is you want to, is instead of using the one that's already on your computer, you use the Oslogix ones. It, it works better and it's faster and it doesn't slow down your computer. Well, I mean uh, you can you can be defragging while using it. I don't suggest doing that because usually I'll run this before bed or whatever. I'll click it right here turn off after the defragmentation and it'll just turn off automatically um, <clears throat> I don't really use my PC as much so I don't really do this stuff anymore because I have a Hackintosh so I usually am using my Mac uh, I just use this um, for gaming and other stuff like that um, so this is the defrag you need don't use the one that's on your computer it's terrible um, next which is already on the computer is disk cleanup. I can't find it. You get it. it's best to just search D C D S C. I don't even know D disk. Okay, just type in disk with the K. Uh, just clean up. This is already on your computer. Uh, I'm not gonna run it because this is slow, kind of because like, it comes with the computer. But it does get I think one or two categories that C Cleaner actually doesn't get. Um, if you want to run this every once in a while, but I wouldn't just run this. I'd run C Cleaner along with this every once in a while. Um, next, um, for hard drive, you want to go to computer, oh, right click, properties, um, whoopsies. Well, that's fine, I guess. Uh, advanced system settings. Um, well, first I'll go over this. Uh, performance wise, you want to go to settings and you want to check. Uh, adjust for best performance and then custom you can do whatever you want to do like I like to show window windows contents while dragging I don't like it to be the box I like to see the whole thing move and then I do like smooth uh, you don't need that actually but I'm gonna uncheck these because um, actually I don't know why I have them but I think that's the only one I have checked is is show windows contents while dragging and then that increases speed puts less stress on your graphics card and your processor and RAM and all that crap 
Um, next we have, as I was going to do, uh, system protection, and then restore points. Your computer creates restore points. I think at the beginning it starts you at like 3%, which is almost 9 gigs. You don't need that much. Put it down to 1%, it's 3 gigs. It'll create your restore points automatically. Um, well, I should do that. You could do that if you want. Um, I, I, uh, I will for now because I'm not doing anything. If you mod and game and do stuff and you want to restore, you know, get I don't know whatever the case may be. You might want restore points, but I don't need them right now. And then deleting old ones, you just click delete, and that's 1.12 gigs I'm saving right there now. It's zero. Apply. Yes. Okay. Um, that's that. Next we have. Um, yeah, I did that. Okay. Um, oh, go back to that. Uh, you go back to the same thing and then go to doo -doo, performance once again, and then go over to the advanced tab and then that's virtual memory and, um, it'll be checked at this automatically or whatever. And then you just do custom size. You take your Ram. So I have eight gigs. So eight times one Oh two four, which is one gig, whatever that is times 1.5 is this, and then you put that as your, that's that's what they always say. I don't know why. I don't even know if I noticed the difference, but that's what they say to do. So, then you click the set, and okay. Um, and then you want to do, do, do next. Uh, did that temp. Um, you have two temp folders. One's here. You go to there, percent, T-E-M-P, percent. Clear all this junk. Well, actually, I can't. That's a camera recording, so just delete all that. The other place for your temp is local disk, Windows, temp right here. Delete all this stuff. Um, and then prefetch, which is right here. Delete all that stuff. It's a lot of stuff, and it usually comes back, but delete all that. Restart. That's stuff that you don't really need. Um... <sighs> MS config is the next thing. Go here, type in MS config. Then you have your services. You want to see what's running. Go through all these and make sure you need everything. Anything you don't need, you can uncheck it. Um, but mostly everything is needed. And then startup programs. You want to go through here and make sure everything here is like this stuff. If you have stuff like this, uncheck it. You don't need that running at startup. Um, and last but not least, um, well, actually, this isn't last, but recycle bin, go to your properties, and make sure this is set to whatever you want it to be. It's usually set at like a huge number. I set mine at about 9 gigs or 10 gigs or whatever for the custom size to save um, room so you don't need as much in your recycle bin. If it goes over, you can just delete it and won't even go in your recycle bin for big files that you know you don't need. And then last but not least, we have Winderstat. I'm probably not going to, well, I will open it. Um, this is like a graph. Let's see if it will run. It it shows you what's on your hard drive in like in a, like a picture form. It shows you blocks um, and how much different things. It's like a visual of what's on your hard drive. It's a very good thing to know if you have huge files that you don't know and or, or don't know where they are or don't know what the, what they are. Um, you can go in there and look, delete them straight from here if you want, um, and make sure you don't over, because there's people that like have 500 or one terabyte hard drives that are filled. I'm like, how do you do that? And they have huge video files and game files and stuff that they don't need that are sitting there and they don't know where they are and they don't delete them. So, uh, once this is done, I don't know why it stopped. Um, but here, okay. So here's the block. So you click on one. That's a page file. Don't want to delete that. Hyper, whatever that is. Don't want to delete that. All this stuff is um, games. This is my game. I think that's bad Battlefield. Whatever. All these downloads. Um, so if I want to delete them, it's a huge file right here. Um, so you, it's the Call of Duty one. Um, so like if you once I'm done installing these, I can delete these huge files off my hard drive and save me a lot of room. So um that's it. Um I might be making some more Mac related videos. This might be my last PC video for a while. 
because I'm using my Mac mostly. So um, thank you. This is just an updated video um, because I needed to make an updated video. And I, I don't think anything else. I mean, because my last video was missing a few things like this. Um, so I just wanted to make this. Um, hopefully this gets <laughs> as many views as my other one. Um, just my other video, I was, you know, hoping 100, 200 views, but mine video got a lot of views, uh, almost 100,000. I think it is at 100,000. So hopefully this, I will post, well, you don't need to know that, but um, this is going to be, I'm going to redirect the old video to this video, so hopefully that will help. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Um, any questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comments, and I'll get back to you real quick because I'm always on here. Um, so, yeah, see you later.